Nice to see you. Um, can I ask you a question that we're asking every Premier League manager, every manager in football really at the moment, for the incidents of issues with fan behaviour mm -hmm. we saw last weekend. But you, you've played and managed elsewhere, in particular Portugal. Is it different here? Is, is this problem unique to England at the moment, or worse in England, or worse elsewhere? What's your no, I don't think it's unique. It can happen in uh, every stadium around the world. It can happen. And, and when it happens, we have to, to make the right decisions. And if you ask me, Ben, don't let these people go in the stadium again. Any stadium? Um, at all. At all. These kind of behaviors cannot... Is, there's no explanation to it. Finish. Uh, thank you. The other quick one I wanted to ask you about was Porto, your old club, the player and the manager. They draw Liverpool in the Champions League. Um, some pundits seem to think that that's the best chance that Liverpool could have got, the best tie they could have, could have got. I wonder whether you think differently. What sort of threat will Porto pose? What I think is when you reach this, this uh, level of competition, this moment, eight, the best eight, anything can happen. There's no favourites. Anything can happen. It's going to be good to watch. How strong are Porto? If you are in the eight best, very strong. Thank you. Um, you're one game from Wembley. Um, how special would that be if you won this game? First, we have to play tomorrow. <laughs> First, we have to play. That's what we think only. And we prepare well the week. Um, and we have to play the game, compete the best way we can against a very good team. Only one defeat in 11 games for you in all competitions, though. Um, it's, what do you make of that run of form? We had some good moments, we have some good moments, but uh, the, the most difficult is to, to sustain, to be able to keep on performing well. This is the most, the consistency is one of the hardest things to achieve in football. And this is what we aim for, every, every game trying to play the best way we can. I know you treat every match exactly the same, and, and that's something you try very hard as a, as a coaching staff. But have you seen a difference in the players this week? Do you, do you think they realise this is a very big game? Mm, we cannot go away from them. From that, it's a reality. It's a big game. But our approach doesn't change. And if you ask me if I see a difference in the players, no. Focus as always and prepare well. The way that Wolves have played this season has, has impressed an awful lot of people. The attacking, pace, pressing. If you thought, it, I mean, it's almost a philosoph philosophical question, this. If, if you thought that changing that style would work, Maybe if you have to go long ball or try and close a team down and shut a game out. Could you do that? Would you want to do that? What I think is that the best way is um, when we have something that, when I call something is a team, an idea, be able to adapt to all circumstances of the game, what the game requires. So if the game requires a different approach, it's hard, but we'll try. But uh, the basis is always our idea. The way we play, how we do things is more important than, than anything else. So this is what we think now. We cannot put ahead of our scenarios and going to do this or that. Prepare yourself, try to make your idea stronger in the pitch and play the game. The reason I ask is that you're likely to maybe have less of the ball against Manchester United, possibly in this game. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. What we are is prepared to play, knowing that we have to defend very hard very compact, organized, and then when we have the ball, try to put our talent in our organization in the pitch. What do you make of Manchester United and, and particularly the job that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has done? Very good, very good, very good team, very good team, in a good moment. And, and are you, uh, Solskjaer has impressed an awful lot of people, being able to come into a club that was struggling, a team that was struggling, lacking in confidence a little bit, and to turn it around the way he has. What do you, what do you make of that? Fantastic, no? Fantastic. The the performance and the results, and uh, especially the, the big moments that they had, makes there's no doubt that all is doing a fantastic job. Um, and I know you always tell us you try and focus on your team and what they want to do, but when you come up against a team like Manchester United that has so many stars, does that make it easier to focus on you, or do you still talk about their threats? We always talk about the threats of our opponents, always, always. We have to give the info to the players uh, for them to be better in when they compete. So nothing changes, nothing changes. It's always the same approach, trying to look at uh, all the details that can change the, the game. Thank you. Mm. You've got a point out for Old Trafford in the last game. How much have they changed since September, since Solskjaer's taken over? 
there are some change, some changes, but um, um, the quality is there, the talent is there. Many, many good players, fantastic job from all. So we expect a very good, a very tough game. They lost last weekend, their first um, away defeat in some time. Does that mean you may see kind of a, a wounded animal this weekend, or, or is it? Does it make any difference that they lost? No, I don't think so. I don't think, honestly. We know that it's a different competition. It's the quarterfinals of a big, big competition that they affect up the oldest competition in the in history of football. So what happened before doesn't change anything. Very good team, very tough game for us. Everyone, I imagine, wants to play every game, but in an FA Cup quarterfinal at home on a Saturday night against Manchester United, how well has everyone been playing to try and get into your team? Everybody's working very well, so we have to make a, a, a the right decision, try to to get the right decision, but all the squad is working very, very well. Ryan Bennett missed last weekend's game through suspension. He'll miss the next match through suspension. Is it difficult to decide whether to bring him back into the team or to leave Saïs in, or how difficult a decision do you have this weekend? Mm, it's our decision. Let's see. And do you have any injuries last <coughs> week? Some issues, but nothing, nothing that, nothing big. And John Ruddy is playing. Yes, the John is going back on goal. How easy it is, as you know, as a goalkeeper, how easy or difficult is it to, to come in on a, only occasionally and to perform as he has done? He's ready. He's ready. I know he's ready, but how, as you're the goalkeeper, you know what it was like to maybe sit on the bench and come in every night. Well, I say I know he's ready. I presume he's ready. He sets up. <laughs> But how difficult is it to do that as a goalkeeper, to know that you're not first choice the whole time, and when you come in, you must perform? But he's ready. <laughs> it's hard, but he's ready. He's ready. He's ready to play. And just finally, your, your supporters have been amazing all season. It's another sellout this, yeah. this weekend. How important will they be? Very, very important. Massive, massive. What Molino is giving us is, is amazing, and we just want to give back all this support and all this fantastic atmosphere that I expect tomorrow. So together, let's try to do it. I just pick up on that point. The atmosphere, it'll be under the floodlights, probably be electric. Do you feel that? Do you enjoy the, the big game atmosphere? Of course. Everybody does. Everybody does. Big games are the best ones, isn't it? The players are ready. It's going to be an enjoyable game, I hope. Do you get nerves or, or do you get adrenaline? What, which way does it go for these big games? Mm, everything. Everything can happen. Everything before. We have the feelings when the game is on, you have another one. It's different. You cannot say, I feel this way. Just go and let your emotions and be focused. I think the, the job of a manager is to try to be focused and help the team, help the team, help the team, make the right decisions, try to give the right influence in the right moments, those details that can make a difference. I think this is our job. Because, of course, the fans will be very excited. I imagine that will rub off on the players. So I suppose what you're saying is you need to be the steady mm -hmm. hand in the middle. Not of only me, the team, the players. What happened outside cannot affect us. I think we have to manage our emotions so we can have our good actions during the game. It's easier if you are focused and just worry about your actions, your tasks. What happens outside cannot change your behaviors. Just a brief word for Diego Jota. I spoke to him earlier in the week, and today he's got his first senior yeah. international call up. He's been a, obviously a great player for you. Every, every, yeah, very happy, very happy for him that he goes to the national team. It's a good reward. I hope everything goes well. Not only Diogo, a lot of players are going to be involved in national teams. I always very supportive and very happy. It means a lot for us that our players go to national teams and they play, they represent their country. There's nothing stronger in football that you play for your country. So. Hope everything is okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you know, I know um, we all know how the fans respond at the games. Um, are you, do you encounter many of them outside the game? Do you hear much from them? Because you know, I'm sure you're well aware of how excited they are, especially for a game like this. Yeah, we can feel. We can feel in the in the city what's going on. Everybody expecting a, a big game. Some of them say that one of the most important games in the last years. Um, we feel that, we feel that. But at the same time, we feel their support, their, their joy to be, and to be and compete against these fantastic teams and big teams only can make us proud. I feel the history around here, a lot of football, football people do, but a lot of, there's still a lot of supporters around
man who remember when this club won this competition for a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is what we... You studied the history, didn't you? Sorry? You're aware of the history. Of course, the history. of course, of course, of course. And it's one of the things that uh, we want to, to make, make it happen again, but we have to go step by step. Step by step, there's a long, long way for us to, to achieve those glorious moments in the 50s, in the 60s. It's much harder now. Yeah, inspiring, though. Of course. Okay. Cameras off, please. James.